Hello everyone, and thank you for joining in this month's free online healing circle at Open Circle Wellness. As you know, this month's theme is spring cleaning. In spring cleaning, we're going to release the old, that which no longer serves us, and welcome in the new. We're using the metaphor of winter being in the past, winter being that dark period in our lives, the place where we huddle inside against the storms of life, the days are short and the nights are long. And spring, when the beautiful spring rains, clean away all that which was dark and fearful and welcome in beautiful longer days, new growth, new life, new love. Sometimes there are things that come back in the spring and we need to create space to clear out the weeds and the garbage that keeps them from growing. But sometimes they're brand new things that we've never experienced before. In terms of releasing that which no longer serves us, these can be all sorts of things. The primary energy here is an attachment to things that cause us fear. The energy of fear. Relationships that were harmful, people who caused us pain, jobs, living places, ways of thinking, ways of being, choosing to reside in fear-based emotions. All of these things are part of the dark winter. The spring energy is love. Welcome in healthy relationships, healing ways of being in the world, healthy homes, open hearts, jobs that let us use our skills and abilities, choosing love energy. So we're going to work on the destructive energy of letting go of the past and destroy its hold upon us, and the creative energy of allowing love to grow and bring us the things that let us lead a life as our authentic self and walk our true journey. Now, this little class and the little circle are just designed to help you set your intentions in motion, to help you think about what your intentions are, to think clearly and concisely and be very specific in that which you wish to release. And to do the same thing when it comes to that which you want to bring in, that you want to manifest in your life. Now our authentic self is the self that we were born into this life with. It was created long before we were conceived. And it's our personality, our true attitudes, our beliefs, the things that are really at the core of who we are. Now this true self has a journey to walk through this life. Over watching ourself lead this life is our soul. Now in the journey we do today, we're going to use that connection to the soul, our higher self, our onborn self, or the watcher self to help steer our true self away from the winter and into the spring. We'll transition from one season to another. We'll just take a minute to think about that. What is it that you need to leave behind and destroy in the winter? What is it you need to create and add in your spring?
Now, when we do these journeys, which are really guided meditations, I just like to, to uh, borrow from shamanism and use the idea of a journey. We use a lot of visual imagery. Now, these images have energy. And when we think of winter energy, I want you to think of a dense, heavy energy. The energy of darkness. The energy that the light that does shine during dark periods is fleeting. Dense energy is associated with the things that do us harm. Dense energy in and of itself is not harmful. But it is associated with difficult times when we experience trauma and hurt horrible people that come and go in our lives, bad jobs, bad living arrangements, bad choices we've made. I want you to avoid getting into the trap of trying to figure out why these things happened. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if you veered off your true course, doesn't matter if they were part of the learning for your true course, part of what yourself is here to learn so that your soul can move along, move forward on its soul journey. doesn't matter. What matters is that you take these dark periods, you take this dense energy, and you take a learning from it. You learn from what that brought you. It's a gift, our difficult times. By taking the energy and keep releasing the denseness, the hurtfulness of it, and keeping the lesson, what we're doing is refining the energy, making it higher and lighter and connected to the upper energy centers, to our true self, love, our soul, and our connection to the divine. We release the dense energy into the ground beneath us, where that dense energy will be turned into something lighter and create new growth so that the cycle of life always goes on. Now I'm going to ask you, if you're not already comfortable, to get comfortable. Make sure you're warm enough. Make sure you're not thirsty or hungry. Everything is in a nice calm state. Take a few minutes, pause this if you need to, and get ready. Now that you're comfortable, I want you to close your eyes, breathe deeply. Feel your rib cage expand. Feel your belly fill up with air. Just let that air push down through the lowest energy center of your body. Push out your worries and concerns, your daily to-do list. There's no need to focus on any of that right now for the next few minutes. It will be about aligning yourself with your intentions, creating an alignment between the divine as you understand it, your soul, yourself. As humans, we have three tools available to us. Those are our actions, our thoughts, and our emotions. All things we know as humans is experienced through these things. We're going to work on aligning our intentions with our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. Reinforcing the connection to the divine, allowing our true self to come forward and have that energy fill our behavior, thoughts, and emotions. So 
Slowly relax. Feel the calmness seep in. Now in your mind's eye, I want you to create a space. In this space, feel the connection to your higher self, the onborn self, your soul if you like. That soul is the gateway to that which is beyond us. At this time, open that gateway. Feel the white light See whatever images that the divine brings to you, whether they're your guides, angels, gods or goddesses, or maybe it's just the spirit and the energy of the divine. Welcome it in to this space in your mind. It's a soothing white space. In this space now, from your position of the higher self, observe the self, your authentic self for this lifetime, standing in this space. Perfect, trusting, loving, wise. Take your true self, welcome your soul's presence, feel the connection, know that they are one but different. The self is the expression of the soul in this lifetime. The self, like the soul, is the expression of the divine. Feel the alignment between these two energies. Now picture your true self, however he or she comes forward to you, standing in this space of perfect love and perfect trust. Feel the energy of this crossroads in your life. Before you are two doors. One door is winter, where all the things that no longer serve you reside. That season is over. The other door is spring. That which is authentic and true and calling you forward to brighter days ahead. The winter door is full of the darkness, the storms of life, the pain of the cold, and fear-based energy. The spring door is love energy. Yourself is drawn, drawn towards the spring. Feel its pull. The heaviness of the past, of your hurts and traumas, self-inflicted and inflicted by others, is heavy. Like coats of ice that prevent things from growing. Open that door and look inside. Observe what's inside. Relationships, old ways of thinking, old jobs, people mistakes you've made perhaps here in this space with this connection to your higher self your soul know that these things can't harm you know that you take their wisdom with you and that the wisdom will be like fertilizer for the new things you welcome in Feel the destructive energy, however it comes to you. See all of those things in that door. Slip away. Slip away. Gone. Like ice melting, they're gone. Like ice melting, the water that remains is clean and pure and feeds the spring. And that's all you take with you, is that wisdom, that water that will bring love to life, 
the healing water. All the junk and debris and garbage associated with winter, all that yucky winter, it's all gone, vanished. You may see the water in a cup. You may see the water just traveling to the other door. However it comes to you, let it go. Once the water is gone, once you've taken your wisdom, the wisdom which is life and love, the pain and hurt gets released. All that was behind that door is now gone, sealed. The door is sealed. Seal that door in your mind's eye. Know that there's nothing behind it that can hurt. Say goodbye to anybody and put them behind that wall. Even if you still must live with the physical representation of people or places or things, know that their energy and their ability to impact you in any way has been sealed and shut and that you created in this moment the powerful intention and that the manifestation of getting these things out of your life physically is also underway. If the, these were things that no longer existed in the present, in a physical form, know that their mental energy, their drain on you, the heaviness of psychological baggage is gone. It's all destroyed, washed away. You can see the water taking it away. However you see, it's gone, it's sealed. There's nothing behind the door. When winter comes again, you have this powerful imagery to control the storms that come into your life in the darkness. You know you're stronger than the difficulties. Take a breath here, feel invigorated. Feel the fear that is no longer there. It's been replaced by love, lightness, a higher vibration, connection to that which is beyond. Turn your mind's eye to the spring door. In the spring door are the things that you're now manifesting, the things that you're creating in your life. New relationships, new people, new jobs, new places to live, New ways of thinking, new ways of feeling and being in the world. A healthy you. A whole you. Let the love flow over you. Let the new growth occur. Visualize behind that door as you step into it the things that you are manifesting. They're already there. Even if their physical form hasn't appeared yet, you have aligned your thoughts, behaviors, and emotions to set these things into physical form. You are the creator. Look around in your spring world. Feel the beauty, feel the love, feel the wholeness. As you step through that door, that crossroads, that void space is left behind. Your soul and your connection to the divine and your guides comes with you. When you turn behind you to see that door, the door is gone. You've transitioned from the crossroads. You've moved from one season to the next. You may also think of this as being reborn just like so many things are being reborn and born for the first time this time of the year. Take a moment or two here to ask your guides for wisdom as you create this new world, which really isn't new because it's the path you were meant to be on all the time and you're living as your true self. Spend some time later, if you feel led, journaling, writing down about any information your guides shared. Set the intention to manifest these things 
out of perfect love and perfect tr trust that they are for the good of your true self and that they serve the divine. Honor the divine here in this moment. Express your gratitude, your love. Acknowledge that all blessings that flow from the divine are loving and that you will share this love through service to others. You may see a rabbit hopping across your path. There's some eggs. These are all images of welcoming in the spring in your life. Settle down and enjoy your new world. When you're ready, feel your body in this new world. Wiggle your toes in your mind's eye and in your physical being. Take a few breaths, squirm a little. Let that energy flow right into your corporeal body, your physical being as it presently is infused with the strength of those intentions, infused with that love energy. Feel the strength of the love energy. Shoot down your spine, knowing that you are strong and capable and wise, controlled by nothing from the past. It's all gone. When you're ready, open your eyes and reward yourself with a smile for the important healing work that you've just done. If you feel led, you may say a short prayer. And thank you for participating in this month's class. This is only the beginning. You've created the space, set the intentions and motions, and you're well on your way to manifesting a beautiful spring in your life. Healing is afoot. Healing is everywhere. Magic is everywhere in the spring. Let it flow over you and strengthen you. If you have any questions, contact me. Once again, I thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with the Healing Circle. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you.